What's up, YouTube? This is uh, going to be a knife review on my Fodel Knives Orion. This was a requested video by one of my viewers, so we'll uh, jump right into it. Before we get into the knife, I'll show you uh, the box and how it comes to you. Just a standard white cardboard box with your FK logo on the lid there. It comes with a certificate of authenticity with your model name, number, some specs, the date it was created, and uh, the signature from the man himself. Comes with a nice uh, nylon pouch, similar to what you get with the Benchmade, with your drawstring uh, opening there, and a business card. It also comes with a sticker. I actually put that on my uh, case already, which it's, it's actually right there. So I like when, uh, when makers or uh, production companies include uh, you know some extras with their product it makes it uh, that much uh, more cooler you know so that's the box there now we'll get into uh, we'll get into the knife itself this is the Orion model it's a titanium frame lock flipper it's actually Cody's uh, first folding knife design which is pretty impressive when you uh, when you see how you know cool it turned out um, it's not without its flaws, but um, he's only going to get better over time. I'm actually on his uh, pre-order for his second um, folding knife design. Also a flipper. A little bit bigger than this one. I'll leave a link in the description for you know his website and his Instagram and everything like that. <clears throat> so here we have the uh, Fodale Knives Orion. It gets its name from Orion's belt. You can see the standoffs here. There's three of them. Similar to Orion's belt, composed of three uh, stars. And here, he, you see these kind of grooves here. He, that's what he calls his comet effect. I opted for that because I thought it added a little extra character. I just think it looks cool. It's on uh, both sides. And it actually ties into the jimping as well. So it's in the design and it's uh, functional. Pretty cool. You have a few uh, finishing uh, options, color options with uh, his, I think all of his knives. Um, I opted to get the stonewashed green frame and the acid stonewashed blade. You see the nice uh, big uh, large pivot there and the screw there for the stop pin. Pretty uh, nicely centered. Nice stone wash on the frame there. Uh, titanium clip, I believe it's titanium. Uh, it's a milled clip, but it functions very well. I actually like this clip a lot. You can see under the um, under the clip where it was untouched by my hands, really. That's kind of the color it came when it was new. But as the oil, the natural oils on your hands rub off on the knife, the color will change. A little bit of Windex will bring out the nice vibrant green that it was when it came. Alright, so let's see the blade here. Flips very well. Show that one more time. Flips out with authority, definitely. Um, it has a ceramic bowl detent. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. So the detent bowl is uh, ceramic, but the, the bearings that it runs on are stainless steel. You can see that heavy um, acid stone wash blade there. You can see some kind of marks on the edge there. It's a very sharp knife. That's just some dry, uh, you know, tree sap that I couldn't get off, but don't mind that. See the Fodel knives logo there. And on the op opposite side, you see S35VN, and that's what kind of blade steel we have here. Very good steel. Very stabby kind of blade shape. Good for piercing. Uh, good for just everyday cutting tasks. Nice rounded spine here. And then it flattens out once it uh, reaches the tip, which I think looks very nice. If you want to do some cutting up here, you have a nice flat tip to uh, make your, your cuts. And then you have a rounded spine here to Give it that classy look. And then of course the jimping. 
very ergonomic knife, very comfortable. I think this is a great EDC size, uh, personally. Let's actually give you some measurements here. So we are looking at about a three and a half inch blade, three and a half inch cutting edge really. Um, if you're going from tip to pivot, it's about three and three quarters. Overall, you're looking at a length about seven and three quarters, maybe with a four and a half inch handle. So in my opinion, this is this is a great, kind of the perfect EDC size. Like I said, very comfortable. You can see kind of this curve to the knife here. So as you're holding it, the blade is kind of angled downwards. So when you're making your cuts, you really don't have to tilt your wrist out, making it uncomfortable uh, too often. So that's pretty cool. Very nice design-wise all around. I think it's an attractive looking knife. Let's see that action one more time. Fantastic. I'll just compare it here to a couple of uh, other popular knives. Paramilitary 2 needs no introduction. A little bit smaller overall than a Paramilitary 2, but more uh, cutting edge length. Of course, the Paramilitary 2 has a um, finger choil. Uh, pretty comparable to the Benchmade 940. How it's, uh, you know kind of similar dimensions with ways uh, and lengthwise so there you go give some uh, close comparisons here very nice obviously not thinner than um, Benchmade 940 because it's a frame lock. I like to drop my knife sometimes. <laughs> um, similar thickness of the paramilitary two. Let's get those out of the way. And also compare it to another uh, Californian knife maker, Ferrum Forge. This is the Mordax, one of my favorite knives. Pretty comparable to that knife as well. A lot of great makers um, out of California, and these are two examples of that. Both excellent flippers. Um, you take into consideration that this is his first folding knife design, and when you take the price, uh, which I think was about 300 for this knife, this was his first run of um, the Orion. Um, when you compare it to other, you know, mid techs and custom knives, um, it's really pretty pretty low um, not that 300 is is a little amount of money by any means but when you're comparing it to the rest of the things on the market it's a pretty competitive price great quality overall great looking made in USA like I said it's the fantastic knife overall show the lock up here around 50% which I prefer Jumping in all the right places. So I encourage you guys to go and uh, hop on uh, Cody's uh, pre-order for his second folding knife design if you like it. Like I said, I'll leave links in the description to his website and his Instagram. This was just a quick review of the Fodale Knives Orion. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.